Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Lee here with another episode of Speak. Speaking my mind, how are you guys doing? I hope you're all doing well. Uh, yesterday it was scorching hot. It was so hot I didn't even go for a walk, which is really, really bad. In hindsight, I should have just got up super early in the morning and done my walk. But here, there we go. Um, but it's about 10, half 10, or roughly around that time. Actually, I got. Yeah, actually, it's 10 to, 10 to 5 to 11 around this time anyway. Um, so, what do we want to talk about today? Well, this is going to be... Well, this uh, this episode is obviously going to be a couple of weeks recorded. In a, uh, by the t- so, it'll be several weeks ago by the time you guys see this. However, um, I do feel that... You know, it's been on my mind for quite a while, and I've been wanting to get this off my chest the last couple of days. So, some of you guys have obviously been aware about what happened in Southport. The absolute horrible tragedy that um, of uh, of innocent once again more stabbings that have taken place, and it was caused unhumane horror and anger and outrage, without a doubt. Um, but it is not just so much about the stabbing in itself; it is also just as much about the aftermath, um, which I wanted to talk about. So this, the night, the day I'm recording this, guys, is literally the day before. The, the riots uh, took place in Southport on that neighbourhood um, as well. So what really angers me and frustrates me, guys, is, is how much this has been turned into a polit- politicised. Um, this is obviously going to take a while, so probably by the time many of the dust will have probably settled a little bit on this by the time you see this, but thinking about it now... Um, you know, this idea that, oh, it was a, a migrant or a asylum seeker or whatnot. At the time it's recording, we don't know. Um, but regardless of uh, whoever is responsible, it is obviously utterly shameful. And that person should face the full wrath of the law uh, if, that, uh, if the person that they have arrested, arrested is deemed to be responsible for it. We don't know for sure. We shouldn't speculate. We should let the police do their job. But... Uh, what angers me is how easily and manipulative that it is turned into a political football, that it is turned into something that of far left and far right, and completely and utterly everyone forgets about the victims in all of this. And the victims are completely become, no longer become the centre of the topic. And what becomes the centre of the topic is about, once again, turning something horrible and tragic into happen into a weapon or to attack and make an argument and point over something, i.e. like if this person was a migrant or if this person was a science seeker, all of a sudden, once again, reinforcing that point that it is, once again, proof that, ah, we have proof again that everything is all their fault, um, that it's all them and whatnot. And immediately jump on this bandwagon and it needs to stop. It really, really needs to stop. And and this is where social media and the internet really does play, I really play a huge part in all of this, you guys, because um, I was just looking this morning, actually, before I went out for my walk, and I was listening to a caller for, on LBC with Nick Ferrari, and she was saying, because she literally lives on the street of where the riots were taking place, and she was saying, like, like these people that turned up had absolutely nothing to do with they have nothing to do with Southport. They have nothing to do with the victims or the incident. They have nothing to do with it, any of it at all. But yet they're there. And she was saying that it was a police. It was it was just deliberate attempt to attack the mosque in there that had absolutely nothing to do with the incident. Turning something into political weapon. Many police officers suffered horrible injuries. Obviously, many of the protesters and these protesters or rioters shall we say suffered injuries themselves many of them were seeing many video footage just showing them drinking slobbing and whatnot and i was just thinking oh, what on earth are you hoping to benefit from this and it just felt like it's a reason to have a go at the police a reason to cause trouble a reason to cause anger and this is this is where the police really need to get their bang their heads together and really start to get some undercover people inside and try to discover, okay, who is who who are organizing these? Who are the people responsible? We need to get our hands and target the individuals responsible. Because there are people 
who are setting up these WhatsApp groups, setting up these uh, these WhatsApp groups with these up with these people, setting up links and whatnot, using different various social medias to connect to people, to getting them all together at the same time for this event, to get to do this. This has been set up, and obviously, yeah, it takes one or two, a couple of smart cookies to do this. And this is where the police need to really go after these people and really need to put the lay the law down on them. I really hope they do. I just, uh, because obviously it, it is put what is already a neighborhood that is in grief, uh, a neighborhood and people that are already grieving after what happened. And it's no longer become about them. It's been turned into a polit politicizing about a bunch of buggeries who've come from nowhere to cause trouble and um, my heart absolutely goes out to to the victims to the friends and families to those innocent in the neighborhood who've had absolutely nothing to do with what happened in those those so-called riots and the same is said obviously for the, the, the for the stabbing of what for the stabbing of what happened as well um, but I'm sure I'll talk about this more at some point but I just wish it wasn't turned into a political football, which is what everyone seems to do these days. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, what did you guys think of the incident at the time? Um, obviously, it's been a, by the time this will be out, be a good several weeks. Uh, what happened in Southport? But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe as always. And I hope to catch you all very, very soon.